Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, cat lady box unboxings, vegan taste tests, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow Spoonies. If any of that interests you, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Also, make sure you hit the bell so you are notified every single time I upload, which is every Monday and Thursday. And yes, everyone, you read the title correctly. We are doing a bit of a Christmas decor haul. Now, I know it's still like early mid-November, um, but I'm doing this because one, I am a planner and I like to do things ahead of time. Two, I didn't need a whole lot of decor this year. I have so much from years past that either I've bought or I've inherited from my mom or my grandmother or great-grandmother. So I have a lot of things and I only wanted to add a few things to it that I had seen. That's what we're doing today. And I also I thought it would be great because some of these I'm actually going to be crafting with. Jip is very excited about those particular items. And I wanted to have them ahead of time so I have plenty of time to do the crafts and film the videos for those crafts to show you all. Also because I'm sure some of you all want to know about these things and the more time we have to prepare for the holidays or get things out or gift or craft or whatever, the better, at least in my opinion. Gypsy! <sighs> all right, so the very first thing I wanted to show you all, um, if, oh, first of all, if you didn't watch my video from Tuesday, make sure to watch it. I do a small business shout out for Backstitch Bruja, and I also go over channel memberships, which are now live on the channel. You'll see it down below next to subscribe. You'll see a little join button. You can click that. It'll open a window and go through all of the options. But on Tuesday's video, I also walk through and tell you every single thing available on those. Part of that was discounts to my Etsy shop. I've been working on some items and one of the items I want to show you all are these earrings. <laughs> these like creepy cute skulls with little Santa hats on them and I love them. I think they're a good size and it's like creepy cute but still kind of Christmas Yule. I don't know. I feel like if you're someone who loves Christmas like me, you'll be really into them. So these are going to be one of the items on the Etsy shop. I will keep you guys updated on when things are going to be uploaded, but just to give you a heads up, these are them. And if you are a member on the channel, you will get a discount code to use on the shop. So just a heads up on that in case you're interested. So Let's get into the haul. First place I'm gonna do, oh, I guess I didn't tell you. So I went to Joanne, Walmart, and Target for this. Those are the only places I'm really gonna go because like I said, I didn't need much more and I had already seen what I wanted to get. So I planned this out. I was pretty good and I stuck to my budget except for a couple things. I'm really excited. First place I'm gonna do is Joanne. This was probably the smaller of the three places I did. I got a little bag. I love their bags. Um, I, cause I just like using reusable bags and their bags are pretty good and they have nice big ones. So I got one of those. The first thing I got um, is, I honestly don't know what this is, but I saw it and it felt very creep to me. It's just so weird. <laughs> is this like llama, sheep, rabbit? I don't know, but it is so weird and so cute and it was on sale. So this wasn't, I didn't plan to get this, but I walked in and I saw it and I was like, yes, you are coming home with me because you are weird and cute and I love it. <laughs> All right, second thing from Joanne, I got this snow globe. Is this mushroom snow globe? I thought it was so cute. I'm actually gonna paint the wood on this black my mantle, I am planning to do like a red, last year I did like a red and white, like snowy, glittery white. And it was so beautiful. But I'm thinking of adding a little black to it. So red, white, and black is the whole mantle theme this year. I will probably film a decorate with me for that. We'll just see, that's a lot of work and we'll see how I feel. I may just decorate it and show you some pictures on Instagram or the members will get some pictures or maybe it'll be a members only video. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do it just yet, but um, definitely red, white, and black is the theme. You'll see that as we go along. Then I got <laughs> two ornaments, a little cat one that looks quite a bit like Dottie. 
But this was so cute. They had their ones on sale. These weren't like super cheap, but they were on sale, so it was better than nothing. And then this one is for like Jip, the big old fluffy tail. It needs to be a little bit darker of a cat, but I thought it was a cute big old chubby cat. <laughs> they just, oh my God, they're so precious. And then I did get one more thing from Joanne, but I'm not gonna show it because it's actually a gift. So that's all I got from Joanne. Next, I will move to Target. Um, again, I didn't get a whole lot there either. Only a few things. The biggest haul is probably gonna be the Walmart stuff because they had surprisingly a good amount of items for the design I'm going for. So I'm really excited, but let's get into Target. The first thing I got is this big thing of garland. It is. 50 feet of garlands unlit. I got actually, I think either one or two of these last year did my whole like outdoor, um, the railing on my front porch. So these are amazing. I really like them. I'm actually going to be crafting with this and making a little something I'm excited I hope turns out, but I got this for that project. Next thing I got was actually in their dollar section. Is this black? velvety blanket i was really surprised to see this there i mean it's not like the thickest but it's so soft and it's hard to find like just black throw blankets that are velvety that aren't like 20 or 30 bucks this was five dollars so for a nice just like velvet black throw blanket how many times am i gonna say velvet black throw blanket let me know in the comments because i've already lost count probably four <laughs> <laughs> for a black velvet throw blanket, um, this will be a year round thing for me. So I just thought it would be a great to get this for five bucks. Next thing I got were, um, or is this the strand of lights? I don't even know if it's going to show up. I think these were $5. I wanted some more lights for the mantle. I usually do white lights um, around Yule time because I do the white and red de decor. So um, I just needed these. I had the ones I had up last year. I had up so long and kept them on all the time and then they just burnt out by summertime so i needed another set of these next couple things uh again more just regular supplies i got some uh hooks for ornaments because i feel like i always run out of them or misplace them i also got this fur babies first christmas oh this was so cute i've not seen one for um, like pets and since it is Dottie's first Christmas with us I thought this was really cute even though I'm, I got this actually before I bought the little cat ornaments but I thought this was super cute you know you can never have enough cute cat ornaments right right <laughs> next thing I got because obviously I don't have enough blankets um, they have this beautiful Sherpa blanket it's this mossy green white Sherpa. I love these. I think this was maybe 15, but this one is like a nice, really thick one. I will keep it probably either on the bed or on the couch because it gets really cold here in the winter. And I, and even just on the couch chilling, I'm usually under at least two or three blankets. So, um, and I love this color. It matches our living room. We have like olive green, orange, and teal. So finding more olive green kind of stuff is really nice and it's soft. <laughs> Next things I got from Target, I got two of these um, little tabletop trees. Uh, I like the black metal container and the moss, but I'm actually gonna spray paint these black because finding black tabletop trees that are Christmassy looking and not just like, I don't know, super branchy. I have so many black branchy trees now, which are great, but I wanted ones that look like fir trees, but um, I'm gonna spray paint them black. So I think these are gonna be really cool on either end of the bottom half of the mantle. And I have um, some little ornaments and stuff I'm gonna put on those. So but these would be cool and be a nice easy project. Literally just spray, like I'll probably splay it all out, spray paint them and that'll be that. So for, I think these were five bucks each. These are $10 each actually, which is a little expensive, but it's hard to find these with the black tin in them. So I thought it'd be good. It'd be nice to have at least. Okay, the last thing I got from Target is this Nightmare Before Christmas wrapping paper. It's really cute, what does it say? Cheers and Scares, and it has Jack Skellington's face on there. And, and it's just cute to find creepy wrapping paper. Um, I actually have a project I'm gonna be using this for, but I will also probably just use it for gifts too throughout the wintery season. I'm gonna go put all this up because Jip is already trying to eat the garland. Sweet Lord Christmas is going to be a mess, y'all. <laughs> okay, the last place we have, and probably the most stuff, is Walmart. The first thing I got, I'm so excited about this. 
It's this little greenhouse. When I was little, I remember my mom would collect the like little Christmas village houses. My brother and I would always give her one every single year. Granted, even when we were really young, it was technically my dad, but I would say it was from my brother and I. <laughs> but every year she would get a new house and she had this beautiful little village of houses. And I have some houses, but they're like the teeny tiny like Dollar Tree houses. I don't have any of the big ones. But I saw this and it's a greenhouse. It lights up. Let me show you all. Look, you see, and they have flowers, the Christmas tree, little kid, probably the shop owner. It's just so cute, and I love all the details to it. Um, it's probably one of the, like I said, one of the first houses that I really, really want. So I was really excited to find this one. It was, let's see, 24, 24 dollars this is the box it came in. So that's probably one of the more expensive things I got during this whole trip, but um, I really like it. I showed it to Craig and I was like, this is kind of maybe the start of my own little Yule village, you know? So I thought it, thought it was cute. <laughs> the next thing I got um, were these Betty Boop little slipper socks. I think they're really cute. I almost got the Jack Skellington ones, but I figure I have so much Nightmare Before, Nightmare Before Christmas like socks and that kind of stuff. I just thought these were like cuter. I really, I remember when I was little, I loved Betty Boop. Like I had several shirts for her and I was just like cute, like little precious little girl <laughs> and being short and at that time much tinier. I always just felt like Betty Boop and like the little high voice. So I thought these were cute and it says Jingle Boop on them. The little fuzzies up top. I just feel like I'm gonna feel super precious while wearing these. So, you know, anything to bring out the preciousness. <laughs> the next things I got from there are these little butterfly clips. I got two of these. I just thought they were so precious. It's so very like ethereal and it made me feel like very fairy-like. And with the white, I'm gonna do that a lot of the white's very shimmery, glittery stuff. I thought with like the jewels and all the sequins and everything on this, these would go into it very perfectly, but they're just so pretty and like their wire. I think these were only like, they were $2.98, which I guess is a little expensive for just one, but they're big and nice little clips. So you could probably put these on a tree. You could probably add them to garland. Um, there's a lot of options with these and they had them in other colors, but I really like just the really nice bright white. I also got some little headbands. So you'll see the one I'm wearing is like red with like silvery white glitter. Hey now, come back and focus. This is the, the red with like silvery glitteries. And then I also just got this. It came in as a set. I think they were like four dollars for the set and I like these that they're really nice and like stretchy they're not super super tight I have a hard time with head some headbands because they like the wires at the end will just like dig into your head and even with a small head it gets really really painful so I like that these are super wide so no matter what your head size these are cute I think they will be fun even as we get into like New Year's and just if you're like me and you like to wear shiny stuff year round, <laughs> I feel like a, a cute little fairy with my little shimmery headband. I found these, be this beaded garland, this red and white beaded garland. I saw somebody talk about it on a Facebook group and I was like, ooh, this is honestly giving me very much like Nightmare Before Christmas vibes or Beetlejuice vibes and I just love it. You don't see a whole lot of like white and black stuff, but Walmart this year, check them out. They had these, they had them in different sizes. They also have some bows, which I might have gotten. These are so cute. There's black and white stripes. And the back of them is just like little twist ties. So you can very easily attach them to trees, again, to garland, to wreaths, all these different things. But I am loving the black and white stuff at Walmart this year. Definitely check them out if this is kind of what you're looking for, especially if you like a darker or spooky Christmas or if you're doing creep miss or anything like that. I think these are awesome. All right, the last thing, well, not the last, one of the last things. I got this big red bow that I might be using for a project as well, in addition to this white shower curtain. This, I'm hoping will work out. I know this is super vague, but there is a project I'm trying to figure out and I think I can do it with this, the bow and that garland. 
so we'll keep you guys updated <laughs> but um i was nice to see they had really really big red bows and these were this was pretty cheap too i think yeah it was like five dollars for a nice big big one i mean you're gonna pay probably that for a spool of ribbon anyway and i wouldn't be able to make the bow look this nice so i might as well just buy it pre-made i also got some more nightmare before christmas wrapping paper this one has sally zero and jack what does it say on it? It says, cheers to fears. I thought this was cute since I have the red one and the black one. Um, they are also going to go very well with my very last item. I got this really big Santa Jack at Walmart. It was in the box with like all their big squishy stuffed animals that they do. And so there was like two of these. I was like, and this thing is massive. Like it's probably a good, I don't know comes up to here on me. Whoa, Jack, keep your hands to yourself, sir. It's probably a good, like, I don't know, three and a half, four feet. But I thought this was cute. I have a, an idea to use this and both of the wrapping papers and maybe some other stuff in my dining room and do a whole little scene with Jack. But I thought it was just so cute. This was not, I did not plan to buy this. This was not in the budget, but I made a little bit of a splurge for him. He was like 29, so it wasn't like crazy expensive considering how big he is but he wasn't bland. I actually, on the way home from Walmart, I had this in my passenger seat just to see if anybody would look at him. No one did, I was very sad. I was hoping to like freak somebody out or something. You know, as one does. But that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Comment below your favorite item. Also comment below if you have an idea of what you're gonna be doing for Yule or Christmas or Hanukkah or anything like that. If you decorate for this season, kind of if you have any specific themes or that kind of thing. I know it's so early, but again, I'm a planner, so I like to think ahead about that kind of thing. Let me know, if feel free to comment anything down below. Um, give me a big ol', oh my gosh, thumb, <laughs> give me a big ol' thumbs up. <laughs> I would appreciate it. And yeah, I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.